Good day, Kamaterrific! Samahan niyo ko ulit sa ating panibagong lesson. And our lesson for today is identifying and describing different quadrilaterals. Another remarkable shape in geometry is the quadrilateral. As the word suggests, quad means four, and lateral means side. In simple words, a quadrilateral is a shape with four sides. So mapapansin nyo dito, ang ibig sabihin ng quad ay four. Ang ibig sabihin din ng lateral ay side. So kapag pinagsama natin yung quadrilateral, ibig sabihin four sides. A shape with four sides. Yan ang ibig sabihin ng quadrilateral. There are many situations wherein we always deal and use quadrilaterals in our daily lives. Passing by the streets, we always see buildings and most things are shaped as quadrilaterals. So sa pang-araw-araw natin na buhay, hindi natin napapansin na marami pala tayong nakikitang quadrilaterals. Marami pala tayong nakahawakan ng mga objects na quadrilaterals. A quadrilateral is a polygon with four sides and four angles. The following are different quadrilaterals. So, pag-usapan natin yung iba't ibang quadrilaterals. Okay, number one, a parallelogram. A parallelogram has two pairs of parallel sides and its opposite sides are equal. So, mapapansin nyo dito sa parallelogram, meron siyang dalawang pares na parallel. So, yan yung nasa kaliwat kanan at taas baba. At yung bawat uh, sides niya, opposite sides niya, ay parehas yung sukat. So, that is parallelogram. So, mapapansin nyo rin yung angle. Uh, ng parallelogram, we have four angles. So, mapapansin nyo, mayroon siyang uh, acute angle, then obtuse angle. Next, we have a rhombus. Pag sinabi nating rhombus, that is also a parallelogram that has four equal sides. So, lahat ng sides niya ay pare-parehas din yung sukat. And then, mapapansin nyo doon sa angle niya ay uh, mayroong acute at saka mayroong ding of juice. So, yung, yung rhombus ay mayroon siyang four angles. Next one is a rectangle. A rectangle is a parallelogram that has four right angles. Its opposite sides are equal. Sa rectangle naman, ito ay isang sample din ng parallelogram na mayroong four right angles. Yeah, so, meron siyang four right angles uh, and its opposite sides are equal. So, yung kanyang sides sa taas at saka baba ay parehas yung sukat at saka kaliwat kanan naman ay magkaparehas yung sukat. So, yung kaibahan ng parallelogram sa rectangle, yung rectangle ay mayroong right angles. Samantala yung parallelogram ay meron siyang obtuse and acute angles. So, doon natin makikita ang pagkakaiba ng rectangle and parallelogram sa kanyang angles. Next, we have square. A square is a parallelogram that has four equal sides and four right angles. So, dito sa square, that is also an example of parallelogram. So, parallelogram din siya. At mapapansin nyo dito, lahat ng sides ay equal. Ibig sabihin, para parehas yung sukat ng kanyang sides. At ang kaibahan nito sa rhombus, yung square ay mayroon siyang four right angles. Samantalang yung rhombus, 
ang angles niya ay acute and obtuse. So, yun ang pagkakaiba ng square at saka ng rhombus. Next one is the trapezoid. A trapezoid has only one pair of opposite sides that are parallel. So, dito sa trapezoid, isang pair lang yung parallel. Ayan. Ayan. Kaya, hindi siya matatawag na parallelogram. Dahil ang parallelogram, dapat dalawang pairs of parallel siya. Now, let's practice. We have to identify the following quadrilaterals. And answer the following questions. Write yes, it, it is correct. And no, if incorrect.